Welcome to AI AIST. This is Series 6, Banana Brain versus McGrave. Here's the bracket. So McGrave beat Purple Wave, and now we have Banana Brain versus McGrave for Series 6. Without further ado, here's the, let's get started on the games. All right, this is a PvP. Both of these bots are great PvP bots. McGrave in the top right, Banana Brain in the top left appropriately orange, sort of banana-ish colored. And we actually have a, whoa, right off the bat, two-gate proxy from Banana Brain versus a one-gate opener from McGrave. It would be interesting to see what McGrave's reaction to this is and what point he scouts it. And it knows that it's coming. So in production, he must have seen something or suspected it because he's got a second gateway in production and has cut gas. Pretty shortly... The first pair of zealots to be up, and this is something very interesting that Banana Brain does. Is it actually does its both of its gateways at the same time when it does a proxy? So they come in as a pair to try and get a two v one right off the map. And this in worker um, the zealot defense this can be pretty effective, but not if you lose all your workers. Look at that, down to seven six. Holds it, but at what cost? 24 versus 10 supply. That's not looking good from Grave. Looks like Banana Brain is going to go here to, back to the center and build another way of the house. Will McGrave survive the second way? I don't know. It does have a shield battery, but only half the zealot numbers. McGrave does have a pretty great zealot micro and using the shield battery very effectively. Look at that. But now the shield battery is empty, and it's still 3v2. Still he gets it. Those zealots are both very low, but it's just, just a rough situation. Not enough workers to produce enough units. Too badly hurt in the first attack. And from this point, I think we've got a snowball in Banana Brain's favor as it produces guns. Going for expansion behind this. And he's going to try and pull workers to defend. And it's just not good. And it'll just be clean up from here. So Banana Brain will take game number one. Game number two, we got Banana Brain on the bottom right, and Grave in the middle left on Aztec. So we got a two-gate play out of Banana Brain and a two-gate play out of McGrave. So who two gates better? So McGrave is up on supply, slightly more efficient in his opening style. And more workers as well, look at that. 12 workers on a two-gate opening, that needs some work. Depending on the low ground, that can work, but watch out on these reverse ramp mats. They get a goon up top, you can get trapped in your own base very easily. The worker count is stabilizing between the two. Is that a DT or Zelt Lane? We'll have to see here quickly. Graves got. I'm on the run. It looks like a DT follow-up. Is Banana Brain going to be ready for that? I don't really see anything. You start a forge or a robo or something. You're going to be dead by DT here in a minute. Pushing the issue at the McGraves National just doesn't have quite enough armor to do it. Some sort of weird worker inefficiency there can be. the forge done, but that DT is awful early. Is he going to be able to hold it? There's really no way. You don't have any protection, buddy. It's not going to be good. Building cannons, but now your natural nexus is going to die. 
And the cannons are still dying. I get the other one. Have anti detection targeting. Oof. I think this is going to be death by DT when the grave has such a massive lead at this point. Yeah. Death by DT. Alright, so McGrave will take game number two, and then we're on to the final game of this series, game number three. Alright. have a two gate versus a two gate once again it's a two gate party let's see who does it better it looks like banana brain still has this weird worker skip in it which is quite unusual it does eventually recover and start building again but that makes it really inefficient Zealot chase around the map. Fun little game. Always a good one. I'm trying to break here in here on the grave, but I don't think it's gonna work. Grave's got too much going for natural. Three gate goon, is it gonna go OBS or Robo? Hard to say. Let's see. Looks like Robo. Skipping the observer, rolling the dice there. Oh, it does a go DT. Shell to fill up with a reaver, I would guess. And it's still straight uh, going into the uh, going into a natural here, but it's gonna be Goon Reaver versus no reaver here in a moment. Will banana brain be able to hold this? Gray is off quite a lot in the army supply and workers. Treating well for the moment, for some reason. Oh, it took a third. Army supplies are equal here. Pushing the natural instead of the third base. Interesting. The gray is producing at a vastly greater rate. Look at the number of gateways in comparison. Close though, the Nana Brain's fighting well here. That Reaver should let Grave hold it, and this third will be up. I don't think Banana Brain's gonna have any more on him to do anything. some workers in transfer here. But McGrave's still up on workers and uh, he's gonna get that third. And now what's Banana Brain gonna do? Behind on tech. He's getting some reavers going here. Hmm. have a third base. The Grave having a little bit of trouble on the macro side, not macroing super efficiently. Only one reaver production with all of these gateways. I don't know what's going on, but something's stuck. Continuing the push though. 
for this, you know, nothing in production. Oh, there goes a wave of guns going through. Even more guns. Let's start our number one. I'm going to spend some of this money, finally. Some good reaver harassment there. It's not perfect, but it's decent enough. Braves point ahead on supply and bases here somewhat. Well, they're not that far off either. The Brave were resuming production, really shot at supply up drastically. Reaching almost 40,000 APM. So attacking in and past this ramp area is quite difficult. Oh, the Grave was able to put some pressure on that third base, and Banana Brain pulled its workers out of there, which caused a, which caused a big drop in income. Double Reaver Shuttle now going. Starting Arbor Attack, kind of an interesting choice for Banner Brain. And look at all the production there. Grave. More gateways. Now you're really using the whole army. <laughs> look at those Reaver heads. Losing some of the reavers, but causing chaos in the process. Definitely denying that base mining for sure. And almost reaching the cap here for 200 supply. And we'll be there very shortly versus 100. Still not looking good for Banana Brain. Continuously to deny the base. I wonder how many kills those reavers have. Probably a lot. Oh boy, look at that probe transfer. Oh, that's about twice to drop a reader, but gets away with it. Look at all the workers that are not at these bases here. Really denying that has put McGrave in a great position. in here with only the bombing supply to finish the game out. So, um, Graves going to win this series 2-1 and move on up to the bracket. And that will be the end of Series 6. Thank you very much for watching. One more little base to find. Come on, bot. There it goes. I 